I've been saving up computer files for almost 15 years now. I've got files stored on my computer that I haven't even looked at in almost 15 years. Because I saw something on the internet like 15 years ago and I would save it on my computer and I haven't looked at it since. I thought it would be interesting, but I haven't looked at it since. Like, this is stuff from, from over 10 to 15 years ago I found here in this, um, and it's, it's still in my miscellaneous folder on my computer. And I've always, um, like, uh, every time I get a new computer, like if my old computer wears out and I get a new one, I just transfer everything here, then I never look at it. Like, here's a file from, from 2001. It's called, look, look at this. It, this is, here's something from 2001 that I haven't looked at since. It's called, Why Pages WHT? And this is all it is. It's just... It's nothing but uh, a picture of the word yellow pages. See, that's all it is. But I, I don't know why I downloaded that back in 2001, which has been 11 years ago, and I haven't looked at it since. There's two files called uh, yes.gif, and, and those are from 2005. And that's all this is. It's just the word yes. That's what one of them is. And I think the other one's the same thing. The real mystery is how I ended up with, with two identical files of the same name. But those, those are going... Sending those to the recycle bin, see? Now, how about... Uh, what are some other things like that? The the yell pages that's go, gone. Except now now the now I lost it, so I can't uh, so I can't find it now. So it looks like I'm going to be stuck with it for another 11 years. And here's another one. There was one. There was a a link to a British phone directory from 1999. That somebody uh, sent me one. Somebody sent me back in 1999. That was 13 years ago. Somebody sent me a link to a British phone directory, because there was some guy in Britain who kept harassing everybody on the internet. So somebody sent me a link to a phone directory to track him down, and I never got around to uh, to looking at it. And that was from 1999. Here's another one. W. Uh, well, some of these are picture files. Some of these were actually picture files that I looked at years ago and never looked at since. Okay. Work number. Somebody sent me their work phone number back in 2005. Then I never looked at it. But I can't delete it because it's an EML file. And for some reason, you can't delete those. Start discussion from 2006. Okay, a website of, here's another one, a website of uh, state seals from 1999. You notice how all, all 50 states have a state seal, and I found a link to all the state seals back in 1999. But here's what happens when you click on it. <laughs> Yahoo GeoCities. Sorry, the GeoCities website you were trying to reach is no longer available. Yeah, because it's GeoCities. <laughs> of course it's no longer available. How about we look at it from... Arrange by folder. British phone directory. Here we go. British phone. TXT. Does the link even still work? This is from 13 years ago. And apparently the link still works. Search for people, businesses, and places in the UK. That link still works. Brossert loses money. That's from 2003. That's an email from 2003 called Brossert loses money. And that's the title I gave to it. And what this is about, this is somebody back in 2003, somebody sent, a student at Brossert sent me an email talking about how Brossert lost money. It says, 
I, here's what here's what the email says. It says, I'm emailing you to tell you about my victory over the Brossert capitalist pigs. They were throwing a battle of the bands and charging like five bucks to go. So I threw my own concert with a band that was kicked out of the Brossert battle of the bands because the singer was suspended. We easily put Brossert out of around $300. <laughs> That, that's funny. That's funny. That was almost ten years ago. That was nine years ago they sent me that. Here's more memories. Now here's something from 2000. I, I downloaded off Usenet. And I've, and I've never even, I've never opened it since 2000. In the 12 years I've had it, I've never op opened it because it doesn't have a file name ending. So it's obvious I never opened it. So I'm going to add TXT to the file ending. And what that is, it turns out, it's personal information about somebody who's harassing people on the internet. So that's useful if they ever come back. Here's another one. It's called, I haven't updated in a while, it's called the Cabal Road Trip. Like, these are people who kept, this is a list of people who kept harassing people on the internet. And then... So I ma I made up a, a a road trip to um like a nationwide road trip where I would try to visit each person. <laughs> See, but one of the guys on this, but one of the people on this uh, list is dead now. So I guess I get to remove him off the list. So there, I just removed him because he died a long time ago. But this okay, I can't save it though. It says this document will be saved in Work 7.0 format. No, it's saving it. There, I was able to save it. But I deleted the one guy because he died. So I don't have to worry about him anymore. Here's one called called Campbell.txt from 2001. Not found. So it's a, it was a link, web link. If I put it in, it says not found. So I'm going to delete it. I don't know what it was. I probably downloaded it back in 2001, thinking it would be something interesting, and I never got around to looking at it. And... Okay, that's a uh, that's more uh, stuff like that. Now here's a link to a radio station back in 1999. There's a link to a radio station's website, so you know they're if they were a good station in 1999, you can bet they're not now. So I'm del deleting that. I'm not even going to bother with that. Okay. So see, this is that's kind of that's our our form of electronic hoarding. It's a type of electronic hoarding. See, I, I have files here from 13 years ago that that I still haven't looked at yet. So that's the story of electronic hoarding.